Hey guys, and welcome to HTML and CSS tutorial and projects course. Before we deep dive into awesome world of web development, let me go over the course structure and probably more importantly, why the course is structured that way. The main focus of the course is to cover most aspects of HTML and CSS. Now we need to be realistic though. There is no course in the world that covers everything since when it comes to web development, essentially learning never stops. So the main purpose of the course is to get you comfortable with HTML and CSS, where you understand the general syntax and are comfortable building your own projects. The problem is that there's no way for me to evaluate how far in the web world are you currently in. Maybe this is your first experience with HTML and CSS, or maybe you already know HTML and just want to get better at CSS grid. What I'm trying to say, since course has multiple tutorials, you'll need to pick your own starting point. That is most comfortable for you. Let's say if you're a beginner, you would start with the very first videos about the HTML. If you already know HTML, you would jump straight to CSS and hopefully you get the point. Like I said before, course will be hands on and project based since personally slides put me to sleep. With that being said, slides are not all bad and we will use them to get specific points across. You'll see more slides in the beginning of the course and less slides as the course moves along. If you're starting the course from the very beginning, please be prepared to switch focus points a few times since I have to cover multiple things at the same time and they all co-depend on one another. For example, in order to start working with HTML, we're going to have to download the text editor and browser first. Last but not least, during the course, I will show you useful external references, but that is not because I'm lazy to talk about the topics myself. You see, as a web developer, you will search daily for information online, whether that is because you forgot how to do something or as you're trying to learn something new. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with looking up stuff online. No one expects you to remember everything and having the best resources will save your time tremendously. Okay, enough of chit chat. Let's get started. 